Now let's bring in Dan Bongino, host of the Dan Bongino Show and author of The Gift of Failure. Dan, good to have an old friend, not old guy, but an old friend. Long time, Dan. Good to see you back yeah, on man. TV. Love doing it with you again. So can you weigh in on, on Trump announcing this morning that here it comes again, another indictment. They, they, just, they, they just can't leave the guy alone, can they? No, no, that well, they can't. Uh, well, let's just be clear about one thing. Let's just cut all the kind of, you know, right now okay we are living in a police state right now anyone who thinks otherwise just consult a history book seek professional mental help take a xanax i don't know what you need to do but if there was a 12-step guide to like here's your 12-step guide to implementing a socialist police state right we're already past step 12 we're on like the sequel to that book now we're already there Political prosecution, censorship online, attacks on free speech, attacks targeted at specific religious groups, uh, people self-censoring because they're afraid of the government, the hiring of new IRS agents and personnel to target you and your money. We live in the police state now. Now, it's clear they fear Trump the most because now, Eric, Trump knows where the bodies are buried. He had four years. We had, you know, the Abraham Accords. They had the tax cuts, regulatory reform, Supreme Court, just, Supreme Court justices. Great four years. But there were some issues there. The police state hit him the whole time. Some personnel issues. We, you know, I hope we fix this time, and I think we will. But they are terrified of him because now he knows he's coming in with a battle plan. He knows where the bodies are buried. And uh, I, I believe, you know, if we don't take off like kind of the seven-headed hydra and get rid of the people at the top of all of these agencies that are involved in these police state prosecutions. We're not going to go anywhere and get anything done because don't ever forget, people are policy, Eric. The Constitution's great, the greatest governing document in the history uh, of any known sentient being. However, it's only as good as the people who respect it, right? Or else it's just a piece of paper. People are the darn policy, people. And we got to get rid of the people in charge now. That's, well, that's what they're, just that, That's their biggest fear. The biggest fear is he gets back in and, and cleans house. He says he's going to get rid of bureaucrats, and they call him a fascist. Dan, we wanted to talk to you about this. Uh, I mean, this America cares that cocaine was found in the people's house, in, in the White House. Now, you have a law right. enforcement background. Any question in your mind that the person who left that coke there is known to others? Well, I worked in the White House for four and a half years. I'm only 48 years old. So a decent portion of my life was spent working in the White House. I was an agent for 12 where I was working protection details as well and was intimately familiar with protection and security plans. So I know waves, the White House Access Visitor Entry System and how it works. Listen, Eric, let, I mean, can we just, let, let, <laughs> I, you know, I haven't been on TV in a while, man. I've been kind of just like chilling a little bit, but can we just like talk in common sense terms? I worked there 12 years. We never found Coke in the White House in a decade plus two years I worked there in the Secret Service. And no friend has contacted me since. So we haven't found any coke in the White House. Yet you get a guy who's on tape on his computer smoking the crack, you know, doing his thing with hookers. Looks like a UFC match. We don't know what the hell he's doing in there, right? The guy's got a history of drug use. The guy's got a history of like, he moves into the White House. He was there on Friday. The crack's found on Sunday. And we're all sitting around like, man. Who the hell you think could have brought that coke in the White House? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Who could have possibly done it? Now, do I know it's Hunter Biden's crack? I don't know that. However, having been a former criminal investigator, I'm not stupid either. If you're looking for a list of suspects, suspect numero uno is Hunter Biden. You're not slipping in white powder into the White House without being escorted by staff or having some kind of a hard pass. Was it the staff? Doubt it, they're drug tested. Was it the Secret Service? No freaking way, brother. Uniform Division Secret Service? Nope. White House mess? Nope. They're military. They're drug tested too. So who is it? A hard pin staffer? A hard pin staffer is going to do coke in the White House? Hey, I feel like doing coke today. Where should I do it? Oh, let's do it in the White House. That's a great idea. Uh, I think it's fairly obvious this is either some Biden family member or a friend of that said person who was escorted in. I'm going to say one more thing, because let's just say some people called me. I addressed this on my show today, but I want to put it on Newsmax, because you guys got a you know nice following here. Let's just say a friend called me up and said, don't preclude the possibility that the cocaine found in the White House there was not accidentally left behind. In other words, it was left there deliberately for someone to find 
And let's just say someone else may have found it. So that's a story I kind of mm. heard from someone mm. who may know a little something so, about so, something. We'll see what happens, but so they know who it is. I'm it's sure very, yeah, I agree. I th they, they have to know. Secret Service is the top of the top law enforcement agency in the land. I, I, I believe them fully. My problem is someone's leaning on them, Dan. Someone is le They know. Someone's telling them not to expose who this is. I'm not saying it's Hunter or Joe. I, I don't know. But for the Secret Service Eric, they to, know. To, to, yeah, Listen, they have to know, right? They know. Eric, every single person I've worked with who's called me has told me they know. Let me ask you a simple question. Hold on. Let's do a little test here. So I didn't even plan to do Here's a baggie. This is earpieces for my studio. This is a plastic baggie, right? So let's just say this is uh, cocaine, right? So now you're assuming like this non-porous substance that, that would rapidly take up a latent fingerprint, right? Because you're holding it like this and you have oils in your fingers. Let's just say the guy, oh, he goes like this. He manages before he puts it in the cubby to magically wipe it up. Now he puts it in the cubby. How does he close the cubby? It's a hinge door. What does he do with his tongue like this? How does he not leave a fingerprint? And then let's just say you wipe the bag off, you did one of these, and you managed to close the cubby with like your elbow or something, and no one's gonna think this is suspicious at all. You turn the key with what? How do you turn the key with your elbows? How do you do that? It's a little tiny key. Well, a sensible person would turn it like this, you know, with their fingers and leave a fingerprint. You're telling me on the bag, on the cubby door, and on the key that magically not a single fingerprint was left behind? I mean, really, uh, you know, don't pee on my you leg, know, man. You know, and and Dan, raining, to be honest okay? with you, I, you've spent time in the White House. I've spent, those cubbies are right by the entrance to, uh, to the White House, right yes. by the reception desk. You go yeah. to the left, there's cubbies there. Eric, how small is that area? Tiny. Tell people how small Tiny. it is. Tiny, and there's right. cameras everywhere, and there's a, there's a guard so, at the so, front so door. So you and I have both seen it. <sighs> Just vouch for me with the audience. There is zero way you would put something in that cubby in some right. surreptitious manner without right. five or six people look and go and dude what are you doing what are you it's doing? a tiny right. area right and they have a guard at the entrance to the cubby a separate okay. guard watching what's going on dan really good hat great to be back with you brother good to bring you back dan, again oh, can we do it again is let's it do, it right? again. do it again I, 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 folks is a good friend of mine dan bongino everyone thank you so much you, brother